We're live, John. According to the PC has begun. Start as well, I've started. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote on the Committee on General Welfare. At this time, would all panelists please turn on their video for verification purposes. And to minimize disruptions, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Levin, we are ready to begin. Thank you very much, Sergeant. Uh, I'm gonna gavel in here. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Council Member Steve Levin, Chair of the Council's Committee on General Welfare. I wanna thank everyone for today, attending today's important vote. The three pieces of legislation that I'll be sponsoring that we are voting on today will make strides in improving outcomes for young people in New York City who are experiencing housing insecurity and homelessness. These bills will expand eligibility and access to rental assistance programs through city FEPs and ensure that youth have the same opportunities to secure housing when exiting shelter or other temporary settings. Proposed intro 150 would require the creation of a task force regarding the transportation of students in temporary housing. The task force would issue a report assessing barriers to arranging transportation for students in temporary housing and recommend recommendations for addressing those barriers. The task force would also report on any recommendations that are implemented 12 and 24 months after its submission of the initial report. Proposed intro 148 would allow youth who have spent time in foster care to be eligible for city FEPS rental assistance vouchers. Any 90 days of the previous two years spent in foster care would count as time spent in shelter for purposes of determining eligibility for the vouchers. Proposed intro 2405 would allow youth who have spent time in runaway and homeless youth services funded by Department of Youth and Community Development, otherwise known as DYCD, to also be eligible for city FEPS rental assistance vouchers. We have a responsibility to the young people of the city to ensure that, uh, that whether they are exiting out of a youth shelter or the foster care system, that they are eligible to find opportunity and to thrive. Often these young people don't have support through traditional means or the guidance of the agency in which they are exiting to secure housing or permanent living arrangements. As we have heard from advocates and young people themselves, adult shelters are inadequate at best for this population and often dangerous and chaotic. Many young people experiencing homelessness identify as a member of the LBGTQIA plus community and those in foster care or temporary settings are more vulnerable to violence and the very real safety risks of shelter and unstable housing. Further, Homeless youth have been long waiting on vouchers through the City FEPS program since the mayor pledged access to this program for youth in early 2017. I'm deeply grateful to the advocates and young people who have informed this legislation. It is long overdue that we rectify this problem for young people in the system. I'd like to thank the staff of the General Welfare Committee, Amanda Kilowan, Senior Counsel, Crystal Pond, Senior Policy Analyst, Natalie Omari, Policy Analyst, Julia Harris, Finance Analyst, and Dan Krupp, Finance Analyst. I'd also like to thank my Chief of Staff, Jonathan Boucher, uh, and my Legislative Directors, Elizabeth Adams and Nicole Hunt. And one, one uh, special uh, acknowledgement, I want to um, acknowledge um, our uh, late uh, colleague, Lou Fiddler, who is the Chair of um, the, um, the Youth Services Committee in this Council for a number of years, and and um, uh, I th I think of Lou when um, um, when when proposing this legislation 2405 in particular. Um, uh, he was so dedicated um, to the young people in the RHY system, and I can just imagine um, you know his righteous indignation at uh, the fact that any of those young people are are exiting that that system and having to go into the adult shelter system in order to access a rental assistance voucher. And so, you know, this one is for, is for Lou. With that, I'll turn it over to the, uh, uh, the clerk of the committee. Thank you. Good afternoon. 
William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee, general welfare, proposed introductions 148A, 150A, and 2405 a Items are, all items are coupled. Chair Levin. Thank you. Uh, I vote aye on all. Thanks, I'm losing it there. <laughs> Gibson. Congratulations, Chair Levin. I vote aye on all. Thank you, Gordenchik. It was nice to hear uh, the late, great Lou Fiddler mention what a man she was. Um, and with that, I proudly vote aye. Thank you, Salamanca. I and all, congratulations. Thank you, Dharma Diaz. I vote aye, but I'd like to thank the chair for keeping Lou's name alive. This is definitely a, a biggie for us that Northern Shelter sits system and had the pleasure of bumping elbows with Lou. Again, thank you. Thank you for what you're about to do for New York City children. Thanks. I vote aye. Thank you. By a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, all items have been adopted by the committee. And uh, we haven't heard from anyone else, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, thank you, clerk, uh, and thank you to our sergeants as well, and to um, uh, Ms. Castro as well. Um, uh, and with that, I think so. We'll we'll adjourn now. Is that is that right, Mr. Martin? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs>